welcome learners. Myself, Dr. Ashna Shukla from Faculty of Library and Information Science, School of Social Sciences, IGNU. I hope you have watched my earlier video on types of libraries because today I am going to discuss about public libraries and public libraries, this is a type of libraries. In fact, a very important type of a library because public libraries, they in true sense is a social institution. They are the institution which are established to strengthen the democratic setup of the society. Public libraries are said to be the libraries by the people, for the people and of the people. Public libraries caters to the different needs of the users, of the citizens, those who are there in the society, irrespective of their age, gender, educational qualification, economic background, etc. So in true senses, public libraries are the democratic institutions. Public libraries play an important role in the development of the society. In this way, public library is a social institution. It is an institution created and maintained by the society for its benefit and progress. The public libraries is the local center of information, making all kinds of knowledge and information readily available to its user. Even the users of the public libraries, they are very diverse in nature. All category of users, they may be children, housewives, professionals, businessmen, legal advisors, etc. All are coming to the libraries to cater their information needs. Now coming to the definition of the public libraries. This is a very important definition of a public library given by UNESCO. Public libraries are the local gateway to knowledge, provide basic condition for lifelong learning, independent decision making and cultural development of the individual and social groups. The next definition, which is also a very important definition of public library is given by IFLA. A public library is an organization established, supported and funded by the community, either through local, regional or national government or through some other form of community organization. It provides access to knowledge, information and works of the imagination through a range of resources and services and is equally available to all members of the community, regardless of race, nationality, age, gender, religion, language, disability, economic and employment status and educational attainment. So based on these two definition, it becomes very clear that public libraries, they provide information to each and every member of the society. These services are free and public libraries also play an important role in preserving the culture of the nation as well as the society. Now, the question which arises in our mind, why we need public libraries, why public libraries are required. So public libraries are required to provide every reader his and her book. This is also a law of library science, which needs to be given books to all the readers who are coming to the library. So library facilitates readers, users which are coming to the library. They provide them their desired information as well as documents. Public libraries, they provide free access to information sources in all subjects and in all languages also. They work for the development of the individual as well as the society in whole. They also provide services on the basis of equality of access to all without any discrimination among the users. 
Now coming to the role of the public libraries. What role public libraries play in the society? So they play some important roles like they act as community activity centers. They act as community center means here the citizens or the users are coming and they are using the public libraries as a place, as a space and certain activities are held there and users are gathering in these libraries to use these resources or to participate in the activities organized by these libraries. They also act as community information centers. They provide valuable information to the users of that locality and they also preserve the important information related to the culture, heritage and other things related to the individuals of that locality. Public libraries also play an important role in formal education support like they support in school, college and university education. They not only play important role in formal education but public libraries also play important role in lifelong or independent learning also. So that's why they are acting as independent learning centers also. Here they are providing different kind of services to the adult learners, to the illiterates or to the neoliterates or the literates also who are not properly trained or skilled. Then public libraries are also acting as a reference library. Reference library means they are having a strong collection related to the culture of that area and the resources which are not available elsewhere in other libraries. They are also acting as research centers. They provide valuable inputs in the form of resources to the researchers. And sometimes they act as referral centers also. They refer the users or the researchers or the citizens to the place from where they will find their desired information. Functions of a public library. The main function as I already told you of a public library is to preserve the culture. The other function of a public library is to cater to the needs of all group of societies. And another important function of a public library is to overcome digital divide, to provide facilities, infrastructure, those who are not having those facilities. And public libraries also provide education, information and work for cultural enrichment and economic development. So in this way public libraries play important role in the society. They provide various type of services to the citizens and make them well informed citizens of the society. Now coming to the public library system in India. In India there are public libraries at all level starting from the National Library of India which is located in Kolkata, then state central libraries, they are generally located in the state capitals. Then district central libraries, they are located in the district headquarters. Then block libraries and panchayat libraries, they are located as the name implies in the blocks and the panchayats level itself. Apart from these, mobile libraries are also there. So, these mobile libraries, they are the mobile library units which offer ways to connect with more dispersed population that may not have the means to regular access the central library building. Book mobiles have been a part of the public library's history for decades, traditionally focusing on using vehicles to deliver book to more distant communities. So the main role of these mobile library is to approach to those who users who are not 
they are near the central library or the district library or the village library or the panchayat library. So these mobile libraries offers them service at their own place. That's why they are known as mobile libraries. And a very important thing which is required that to ensure a linkage between these all libraries because these generally all these libraries are established by the government and they act as a authority at the central level, state level or the local level. So linkages must be ensured among these libraries to provide better services to the citizens of the society. Now these days the public libraries are changing a lot. They are not the public libraries which we traditionally seen earlier. Now public libraries are becoming as a place. See in this picture what a beautiful and attractive picture of public library this is where colorful furniture is there, users are lying, they are reading books conveniently and comfortably without any restrictions from the library staff as we are having earlier in the library setup. So libraries are now becoming a happening place. They are becoming hubs. They are becoming places for discussions, for debates, for lectures, for conferences, for seminars, etc. Similarly, this picture, this is Jenny Public Library for, from UK, United Kingdom. Here also the furniture is very colorful. Even the stacks, they are not of the traditional kinds. It looks like a very attractive setup of li uh, library where users will sit and use the resources of the library according to their need. This type of libraries, they attract the user to come to the library and feel comfortable. A ambience is created in the libraries where user are welcomed in the library and they are comfortable in the library. So these public libraries also work as a place where students can meet, talk, study and use equipments and work as community gathering places also. Using equipments as I already told you there are also some digital haves and have nots. Those who are having digital or infrastructural facilities and those who are not having those facilities. So public libraries are providing them facilities to use the equipments available in the library. Now it becomes a responsibility of the government to set up libraries at each level of the country. So to cater the information needs of each and every user. Now talking about the different section of the library. As any library, public library are also having acquisition section, technical section, maintenance section, reference section and periodical section. These are the common sections of any library, be it public library, academic library or special library. But you see these two sections like children's section and women's section. These two sections are there in public libraries only because all age group of users are coming to the public libraries and these there are children's also there are housewives also so public libraries what they are doing they are providing different sections to these special users those who are coming to the library now talking about the services of a public library public libraries provide variety of in, uh, information to its user like agriculture information related to the crops, related to the markets, related to the other things which are the agricultural or which are the farming needs of the farmers. So in this way, these public libraries work as a community information center also. 
uh, for example, if uh, it is a block or a panchayat level library, that library will be providing information to the farmers or for that they are organizing different type of lectures or informational programs for the concerned users. Similarly, public libraries are providing health and sanitation related information also. They are providing education, both formal education and informal education. They are providing services to the users who are there from any school, college or university and they are not able to use the resources of that academic institution. So they are coming to the public library to use the resources of the public libraries. Similarly, public libraries are also providing employment related information. For that, public libraries are acquiring different type of newspapers and they are providing career guidance also to the users by calling experts and organizing lectures on different type of subjects related with employment. They are also working, these public libraries are also working for the socio-economic development of the society. They are providing information which helps in the development of the society. They are also providing services related to finance and credit information. Uh, sometimes the users need loans, sometimes they need some uh, financial advice, saving schemes, other things. So, for those things also public libraries are providing service to its users. Then they are providing recreational information also. For this they are having a good collection of uh, fiction books and they are also organizing film shows related to the topics of awareness and interest of the users of that locality. Public libraries are also providing legal information services to the users of the locality. Those who are in need of legal advice and they are ha not having any uh, facility related to that help, so public libraries are calling legal experts and they are providing legal advice to the citizens of the society. Public libraries are also maintaining a who's who of the important person in that locality. So it is also acting like a directory, who is there, who is important, who is famous. So this way also public libraries are preserving culture. They are the repositories of knowledge, they are the gateways of knowledge. So they are preserving the culture and they are catering to the information needs of the society. Apart from these services, public libraries are also provide extension services. Extension services for these public libraries are establishing branch libraries. The libraries which are the places which are not near to the central library. Their public libraries are establishing their small branches. They are providing services to the illiterates, adults, senior citizens, disabled users and even to the inmates, prisoners of the prison. For example, in Delhi, Tehar prison, they are having a branch of public library in Tehar. The public libraries are also organizing cultural and awareness related programs. They are organizing lectures on topics of current interest. Now using the ICT tools, they are providing bulletin boards also in which the events which are there in the city or the district that are being displayed and promoted in the public libraries. Some public libraries, they are also acting as tourist information centers. There is a small window for tourists in public library from where they will be getting information related to the places in that locality. As I already told you, public libraries are providing services related to career counseling. Uh, to attract users to come to the library, now public libraries are also organizing music concerts, they are organizing exhibitions in the library, they are organizing book fairs in the library and they are 
organizing trips to book fairs and museum so that more and more users will come to the library because as library professionals we are always complaining about the decrease or less footfalls in the library so by these things we will attract the users to come to a library now talking about the building of a public library the building should be centrally situated means accessible from easily from all parts of that city district or state and it should be accessible to differently abled users also building should be functional and attractive in nature the building should have space for exhibitions film shows lectures etc one more thing here i want to mention is that some disaster management planning is also needed in public libraries because certain public libraries they are having very good rare book collections also which are required for our future generations also so public libraries has to have a disaster management plan for their buildings they have evacuation plan uh, in case of any emergency and as i already mentioned these public library should be accessible to differently abled users also then coming to the finance of the public libraries from where these public libraries are getting their money how these public libraries are maintained many sources are there the most important are the government sources government are giving grant to the public library it may be central government it may be state government or the local bodies they are giving grants to the public libraries in case of india ministry of culture and then rr rlf raja ram mohan royal library foundation they are providing grants for establishing for maintaining and for promoting public libraries in the country the next important source of uh, finance for lab public libraries is library cess this is a kind of a uh, tax uh, imposed by the government sometime this library cess becomes the part of the education cess and in some states it is uh, imposed separately other than the education cess so it depends upon the provision of the library legislation library legislation means the library law which is passed in that state uh, certain uh, provisions are there in that legislation based upon those provisions this library cess is imposed upon the citizens then some self generated income is also there for the public library this income comes from the suppose public library is having a big hall which library is giving for conferences seminars and other things so they are generating some money from that or some services which libraries are giving on pay per use basis so this is a, a source of income for public library now savings uh, if this money is deposited in banks and other uh, places uh, that interest may be given to the public library and that will be used as a source of finance for the public libraries similarly uh, gifts donations these things are also given to public libraries by the uh, citizens of the society or the locality so these are the major sources of finance uh, for the public libraries but the major chunk comes from the government or the library cess from where the public libraries are maintained then the resources of the public library as you know library is a trinity of three things users staff and resources resources means the collection of the libraries collection of public libraries are based upon complex requirements of the community they serve as i already told, told you different type or different variety of users are coming to the public libraries like children like housewives like businessmen like professional scientists researcher historians anybody 
and those who are there in the society, they are coming to the public libraries to use their resources. So to cater the needs of these public libraries have to develop a diverse kind of collection. For children, they are maintaining audiovisual records. For housewives, they are uh, collecting these popular magazines. For professionals, they are collecting resources according to their subject. For researchers, they are collecting uh, resources related with the research and they are also collecting the cultural and rare books related to the society. As I already told you, these are some of the agencies those promote public libraries in India like central government, uh, like Ministry of Culture and RRRLF, state government, then local bodies like municipal boards, municipal corporations, panchayats, block promotes and even the NGOs, they are also working for the upliftment of the public libraries in the countries. Governance of public libraries, how these public libraries are controlled and managed. As we know that public libraries are the democratic institution, so they are the responsibility of local and national authorities. They are supported by specific legislation and for this purpose, they constitute library committees, boards, councils, etc. And these councils, boards, committees, these comprises of members appointed, nominated, selected and co-opted. It is according to the provision of the library legislation. So these uh, committees, boards and councils, they are responsible for smooth functioning of the public libraries. Now resource sharing and networking. This is also very much required in public libraries. As we know there are documents in various format and no library can acquire all the documents which are being published. No matter how well funded a library is. Libraries are also facing budget constraints, the prices of the journals or the books and even the e-publications are rising like anything. So it is not possible for a single library to maintain a collection for all. So to overcome this problem, what they are doing, what the public libraries or any libraries are the, doing, they are sharing their resources and they are developing a network to provide services to the users. Staff, uh, as we know that staff is also needed to serve the users of the library. Library is a service oriented organization and customers focus is their highest priority. So to fulfill this uh, libraries appoint professional staff para-professional staff and non-professional staff. These uh, professional staff, they are generally the leaders, generally the managers of the library. Para-professional staff, they are doing the technical work related with the libraries and the non-professional staff, they are the one who are maintaining the library and they are doing other cleaning and other office works related with the library. See this picture, as I told you, we are having a, a national library. This is national library. This picture is of national library of India, which is uh, situated in Kolkata. Similarly, this is Delhi public library, DPL. This Delhi public library is having a very good network of public libraries. And this Delhi public libraries is established with the help of UNESCO. This is a picture of Boston Public Libraries. I am showing these pictures to you to just to present that how public libraries are changing, how beautiful, how functional buildings or public libraries are becoming these days. Now these public libraries, they are also using social media. They are also connecting with their users virtually. 
For several years, libraries have been connecting virtually with citizens through their websites, OPEC, email, online chats, and social media. Public libraries increasingly use social media such as Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Facebook appears to be more useful for connecting with locals, particularly about specific events, while Twitter has been engaging forum for discussing books and libraries on a wider regional level. So public libraries are using all type of social media for providing services and access to the library services to them also who are not regularly visiting the libraries. They are providing service to them on their desktop or laptop. So now coming to the end of this presentation. As I already told you, public libraries, they are social institutions, they are democratic institutions and libraries, they change lives, library build community and libraries are the educational hub for all. Today libraries has become a cultural center in the community and they offer many services like art galleries, auditoriums, meeting rooms, spaces for collaboration, collaborative work, digital information and instruction and even cafes are there in the libraries. So libraries are becoming a place, they are becoming a hub, they are becoming maker spaces, they are becoming learning commons where people are coming for discussion and debates also. They are not coming libraries just to sit silently in the reading room and read the or use the resources of the libraries. So this way public libraries are emerging like anything and for this we allies professionals have to work hard to provide different kind of user, uh, services to our users. So I hope you will enjoy this uh, presentation and you will learn about public libraries, their roles, their functions through this presentation. Thank you.